Hey guys, Owen here. Welcome to Drink With Owen. While we're all in lockdown, we're going to be doing these over the internet, which is kind of exciting because that means we can talk to some people from different places around the world. So stay tuned for that. We're still going to have a drink together. We're still going to share some interesting stories, hopefully. Um, so let's not waste any more time. Let's meet our guest in this week's episode. Welcome, welcome to Drink With Owen, mate. How's it going? Norman, this is Norman. So excited. Get to drink with the one and only famous Owen Davies. Alright, well let's get started. So I've got my drink here which you have told me to go out and buy. Do you just want to give a quick quick word what it is to everyone while I pour it? So um I don't know, I'm not, I have never been sort of a, a wine drinker, but this one is pretty good. It's yellowtail, big old red. Um it's Australian made, so can't go wrong, right? Yeah. Why don't you let it breathe? Um, but yeah. Let's go straight into it, mate. Yeah, go straight into it. <laughs> you can smell the bottle. Go straight from the bottle. Um, but yeah, honestly, like it's it's not too it's not too bitter. It's not too sweet. It's kind of in the middle, just like me. Um, so um, yeah, I think you enjoy it. You like it, no? <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Yeah, not really a big red wine drinker. Cheers. Cheers. But it's actually all right. Hmm. And it is cold exactly, at the moment. Right, when, we're, when we're filming this, it is I'm cold and rainy, right. so it is a nice little drink for that. So yeah, we'll, what we'll do, we'll drink, we'll drink that throughout, and we'll give a bit of a review at the end once we finish yep. the bottle, maybe depending how long the chat goes on. Um, so I guess yeah, the, we'll get stuck in. We're talking about it is the quarantine season, so we're just having a bit of a yarn over Zoom um, and just going through some stories to do with drinks. It doesn't have to be alcohol related, although some of them, the joyous them, probably are. But maybe you've got a coffee story. Who knows? Um, well, what was your first drink, if you remember, sort of like how old were you? And is there a bit of a bit of a story to it? Or? Yeah, there. Um, my very first drink. I don't know if you know, but um, have you had Alizé before? Uh, so it's it like rings, a liqueur. It rings a bell. Is it? Is that the one you do it with some sort of shots with like different things in it? Yeah, something? you can have it as shots, so or you can have it in a drink on ice um, yeah, with okay. juice or whatever, whatever have you. Um, but yeah, that was my very first drink. So my siblings um, put on a surprise birthday. 18, I was 18 years old, so they put on like a surprise 18th birthday. Um, it was at my brother's place, so they set it up in the garage and everything. It was cool. Invited all the rugby boys um, over and all my friends from high school. And it was sick. We had a good night. Um, then I had just massive like pint glass of like just ice and straight Alizé. Um, it was the blue flavor. I can't remember what that was. I think that was blueberry. Yeah, well, it's blue, right? So, Sounds about right. Or okay. bubble gum or something. Is blueberry even blue? Blueberry is not even blue. Um, Isn't anyway, it? That's blueberry. another argument. <laughs> I think, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll get bogged down in the details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm still taking a drink, but yeah, it was great. Um, lots of me. Lasted me all night. Drank the whole bottle to myself, straight. Again, didn't really do anything to me, because I had, a, to be honest with you, like I kid you not, you'll be surprised, but I, I never, I, I was never a drinker right up until I was eighteen. Mm. So I, when I was eighteen, I tried my first drink, and God, I was, I was still going. I was like last man standing. Yeah, nice. Well, that's it. Like myself, people sometimes don't believe me. I only started drinking when I, I think maybe seventeen, maybe sixteen. 17? Yeah, yeah. Which is quite late, really. I know it's not legal, but it is quite late compared to a lot of people. But it's just about making up for it now, isn't it, really? Yeah, straight out of the room onto the drinks. <laughs> because that was your first drink. Was that, did that sort of um, put you off it? Is there a drink you can't touch again? Um, one that you've had a really bad night on or a bad experience with? To be that, sounds like drinking yeah, that, a pint of that straight sounds like it might be that one, but maybe not. <laughs> That's funny because I was actually talking to my housemate by, um, and because we're very quite similar when we we have a couple of drinks. See, now we only just drink socially. Yeah. But um, do we? <laughs> um, but, <laughs> oh, mate. I think the drink <laughs> like every weekend. Um, but no, I think the drink would probably have to be like when you say you just can never touch again. Do you mean like you'd never even? want to try it, just, it again like yeah you know when you yeah, just think yeah, of it if someone's bringing it out you're just like nah like you cannot face it for some reason for whatever it is but you, yeah see what the problem with me though is that like i think if i've had a couple of drinks i'll just do it anyway so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can just like put it up yeah nah but i think for me it'll be either 
tequila. Tequila, I'm not really good. I don't stomach that really well. That just comes straight back up as soon as I shut it down. Um, and I don't know. I think it's bourbon. I don't know if you guys, do you know what Cody's is? Cody's, it's like a, you get a box of 12. There's yeah. like 9% in a can with Coke. Is it it's a, like a bourbon with Coke? Yeah, like a bourbon and Coke. Yeah, it's like a Woody's. Like a Woody's yeah, Woodstock. Yeah, it's like a Woody's. Yeah, it's called Cody's. Yeah, 9%. Oh, and a little. <laughs> right, it's not really selling it. Let's, let's, we'll put a little ad up at the bottom for um for these. and everyone Yeah, yeah, it. right? Cool, cool. Um, yeah, that, that reminds you of high school, like high school days. Like, oh, you weren't just... drinking at 418 though, were you, mate? <laughs> you're, not, you're not going back I in your story. It was my final year. It was my final year. So, uh, okay. you know, All right, we'll let you off. We'll let you off there. <laughs> um, so what is it like? What, what, what is it you're drinking at the pub now if you're going out for a night out? Is it your yeah, red wine? Are you a red wine man at the pub or Woodstock? So you, um, you mean at the pub or at the club? Because there are two different. Well, give me both. That's situations. good. Good, good little. Uh, that's the little question. Okay, yeah. Like, uh, I, I, want, I want both options. Yeah, yeah. So if I'm at the pub, like with the boys and just catching up and stuff, it'll probably be like, I think for me it'll be a nice crafty beer. Um, so mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I I like to settle with Stone of Wood. I'm Ooh. I'm happy with Stone of yeah. Wood Pacific L. That's my go-to when I'm at the pub. Um, if I'm at the club, um, it'll probably be. I don't know. My first drink will probably be like Jag a Jagerbomb. Yeah. Jagerbomb straight in it and then straight on to, to vodkas and sodas because, you know, I'm trying to stay trying hydrated. Trying to be healthy. Because I'm about those, I'm about that no sugar life, you know what I'm saying? you just had like 10 <laughs> pints of stone and wine the night before, you're only going to have uh, vodka sodas tonight because you don't want too many carbs. Like. That's it. You're That's it. You're going to way out. Gotta watch out for that gut, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, sadly I do. <laughs> what about if someone else is buying you drinks? Is there is there like an expensive thing you go to when you're not paying? Um, yeah, that um, that's that's a funny question <laughs> uh, because it's usually it's really sad. It's selfish of me to say this, but it's usually the most expensive one. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what we're getting at, isn't it? We want to know what your expensive. <laughs> so um, nah, I don't really have expensive taste. I'm I'm really simple. I'm a simple kind of guy. That's right. Um, wine was seven dollars, so we'll uh, we can see right. that. See, there you go. I All was worried wines. when you when you picked a wine, and I went I went to the shop and I asked the guy. I was like, oh, "Do you have this wine?" And he didn't he didn't go. It's over there. He walked me to it. So I was like, "Oh well, I've got to buy it now, regardless." And I was like, "What happens if it's like really expensive?" I'm like, "If Norman's <laughs> here, mate," oh, and I got there and it was seven dollars, and I was like, "Yes, I, all right, I'll get one. <laughs> I'll get one in. Mate. That's going to be nice." That's it, man. It's affordable. It, it tastes good. It's yeah, it's nice. It's, it's, it just hits the spot. But you know, I don't want to go crazy because when you did ask me, like, you know, what's your favorite drink to drink? Like for us to have a drink on um, on the show today. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I didn't want to sort of like blow your mind by like, oh yeah, like Balvadere or Grey Goose. And, <laughs> yeah, but like, and... <laughs> save that for <laughs> yeah. three, mate. When we're making some money off this. Yeah, right? yeah we'll, we'll save that for our <laughs> yeah, post quarantine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We finally get to get rid of us, um, get get out of these houses. Yeah, um, you mentioned you mentioned quarantine. Now, how are you how are you going with the lockdown? Are you, are you sort of surviving? I know you've been in a bit of isolation. Um, what are you what are you missing the most? I guess. Oh, what do I miss? Um, yeah, so I um, the gym. I, got, I, just, the gym. I got back from. Yeah, yeah. So that that's huge. Like for me, it's like me literally like today. I actually went to look for some some gym equipment, um, but there's just. Yeah, yeah, a lot of places are sold out. I, I was, I was reading. I wasn't looking, obviously, yeah. but I did read that somewhere. So yeah, your, your best option is just to, to order online and get that delivered. Um, but I've just been doing like you know home workouts and stuff like that. But what I do miss is like, I guess, like the office banter. I do miss going into work and then actually yeah. physically talking to people. Hundred percent. Um, I do miss the free coffee, the free biscuits at work, and the which balls. biscuits? What's your, um, what's your go-to yeah, biscuit? Right? Um, my go-to biscuit. Ah, oh, I think it's. Oh, what's my go-to? Shortbread. Shortbread, one hundred percent. What about? Yep. And I've seen them. You can get chocolate chip shortbread, or do you just stick to the classic? Ah, classic. Good old classic. Just like the drink. <laughs> all right, mate. All right, with a nice <laughs> glass of uh, red wine. So you have been missing <laughs> interaction. You're probably missing uh, heading out as well. Do you have any 
Yeah. Classic stories, any classic message? going out stories that you want us all to sort of know about? I'm sure, there's going to be one. Going out stories. Oh, there's a lot. Obviously, um, I'd imagine there's a lot. Absolutely, yeah. Feel all of them. Uh, but uh, probably one. I don't know. I don't really know. But I, I'd probably say that um, I think it was one night when I was in Amsterdam. I literally felt like a boss when I saw on their menu of drinks at the when I was at the bar, I was ordering me a, a drink. Then I saw that um, at the bar for a Jager bomb, I mean, obviously I love Jager bombs. Yeah. It only costs one euro. Yeah. And I was like, I had to ask the bartender again. I was like, does that, is Jager bombs one, one euro? And they were like, yeah, yeah, it's only one euro. And I just looked at everybody at the bar and I was like, okay, it's my shout. I'm buying everybody in, in the, at the bar, Jager bomb. <laughs> so I bought probably about Close, I think just a little bit over 40 Jager bombs. Uh, nice. And we were all cheering, we were all cheering, and it was just, it was sick. We just had a party, and like the DJ was going off, and I just literally, it's funny because when I, after I had bought 40 Jager bombs for every, everyone, including yeah. myself, I bought another 20 for me and my cousin. But they had these really cool, like almost like um like high tea um sort of layered like a tier sort like of like a thing you can hold yeah mm -hmm. and you just imagine all of the egg bombs mm -hmm. at each tier and that was me i was just like carrying it to the table, table and that was that sort of me you literally up. with a car it was like i'm buying everyone a drink everyone their drinks are on me i felt like a boss <laughs> well, like i felt like a boss like 50 bucks in melbourne yeah, exactly three egg bombs <laughs> yeah pretty much that's it so oh man i felt like a king I don't really remember that um, much that night, though. <laughs> yeah, no, I like went to bed and I woke up. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't know whose bed, but um, well, that's another story. Um, but yeah, no. that is good. <laughs> it was pretty much that's, the, that's, the, that's the stories I want, and I'm going to steal that and tell people <laughs> about the time I was in Amsterdam. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll leave that for uh, for next season, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I guess drinking. Drink, drink, the drink no one. You had you probably would have had what like ten Jager bombs that night. Do you have any sort of rituals, I guess, when you're drinking, whether it's to prevent a hangover or whether it's to save some money or anything like that, or any little tips? Not everyone does, but I was just wondering if you can share some wisdom. Share some of your wisdom. Share some wisdom. Now you're making me sound like an alcoholic. Um, okay. Well, you're the one that's bought uh, <laughs> I don't know. If you're going to a festival, <laughs> um, I usually keep those little <laughs> squeezy... <laughs> no. <laughs> those <laughs> little <laughs> squeezy... <laughs> The little yogurt. You know things? those ripe, uh, yeah, those yeah. yogurt things. You, you keep those. Keep a bunch of them. Yeah. Rinse it up with some hot water. Get all the gunk out, and then top it up with some vodka, whatever you like, whether it be bourbon, whiskey, whatever. And because it can't be like it can't really be detected because it's it's predominantly plastic. plastic yeah. Um, you can just kind of like put it on, on your chest and make you like you know look like mm. when you're trying to hide it into a festival. Yeah. Or in your pockets, I don't know, in your socks, I don't know, in your underwear to make your booty look big. I like it. Um, <laughs> good. All right, let's get back to the when the festivals come back. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll do that and I'll get caught, but as long as you get in with yours. That's yeah, good. massive. Or, and take take two tablets on net neurofin before bed. <laughs> that was a risky start. Take two tablets of neurofin. <laughs> <laughs> a little, um, little bit more wine as we finish off. So it has come yeah. to the end of this uh, lovely little chat, Norman, and thank you so much for joining me. It is, oh, has been great. You, so uh, I haven't told you about the segment, but that bell you just heard ringing there, um, so that's the, the bell for last drinks. So this is where the guests come at us with a story or anecdote or something that's happened or something they want to share, um, a nice little thing that we can end on. So hopefully you've got something. You're looking at me like you don't. So give me, <laughs> give me something that we can end it on that's positive. To be fair, it is hard for you to rival that story with the – the 40 Jager bombs, like that is that is actually a real good one. Do you have anything? Actually, I'm going to turn this around on you. Huh? <laughs> I'm going to turn this around on you. It's like since, since, I guess, since we've since knowing each other, Owen, yeah. uh, give us a story of one night that we have been out together, that, that you've, we've had a drink together, I suppose. Do you um, remember? You know? Uh, Brisbane, Purchase. <clears throat> we were, yeah. So we went, we played rugby up in Brisbane, um, and we... Oh, you're using rugby, dude. Yeah. <laughs> right, this is my show, mate. Don't come for me on my show. I'm going. Okay. This is all getting cut out. No, nah, so we, <laughs> went up, we went and played rugby, lost a game, won a game, um, and then I think the Sunday was the, was the, was the um, not to sound like a real alcoholic show, but Sunday was the bigger day, wasn't it? 
So I think we got up. Yeah. And we went to the Wickham. Um, that's when we had that. Um, we went to the Wickham Beer Garden. Yeah, so we had a beer garden. So we had a bit of a day sesh there. I remember vividly that we were in rounds, and I was I was a bit I'm always a bit skin, you know me. And but the rounds were it was like eleven dollar pints, I think. And at one point there was eight of us in the round, so it was an eighty eight dollar round. Which like uh how many times we've been in a round and then someone isn't buying part of it, and then when it's eight people, like how do you keep track of that? But the, the t- to be fair to everyone, yeah. we got through it. So we all bought a round each. And then we actually got onto two rounds. Actually, that's a really good question now that you brought that up, Owen. Yeah. Um, sort of to end it off. Rather than telling a story, do you always have that one friend that doesn't, that doesn't shout around and just kind of laughs it up? Yeah. And you just kind of be like, you know, when is, you know, we've all finished our drinks. We're literally coming to the end of our class. Mm. And we're like all kind of like, just waiting there patiently, hoping mm. that he's going to be like, he or she's going to be like, oh, you know, it's your turn. Yeah, I, I, do, I, do have, I do have some friends that do that. I'm not going to name names because they are, they're good friends oh, of mine. Wow. As much as, as much as they do that, which is very disappointing. But I find some people, you know, they're going to do it. It's the ones, what annoys me, well, that annoys me to be fair, but what annoys me more is when you're in a round and then you might finish yours and then someone who's round those next has got like a full one and they're just sitting on it. And it like stops. Yeah. And everyone's sitting around like, oh god, thirsty. Oh, I wish, right. wish someone would buy their round. And then like, now nah, you get to the <laughs> point where you're like, all right, oi, oi, Norman, <laughs> Norman, get him in. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll end on there. Yeah, quick, yeah, quick, that's, quick. Quick. that's my cue. <laughs> yeah, that's your cue. Thank you for the one. This is actually, you know what? That's my that's my cue to leave. Mm. <clears throat> this isn't a drink I would have bought normally, but I actually quite like yeah, it. I told you. Have now. Um, head out, head out yeah. to your local uh, bottle shop, everyone and buy some. And um, I will tuck into that over That's the next it. few days. Nice, so nice. Thank much, Norman. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, we'll really appreciate it. And stay safe and uh, tune in Thanks next week for whoever comes on the show with Drinking Owen. Cheers, guys. Thanks, Norman. <laughs>